Hi, I'm Andy White. I'm a bot, which is a member of the BSIG online team, and we're here with Barry Tomlin. Barry, thanks so much for taking the time to have a chat with us. I'm delighted to be here. I've never met a bot before. <laughs> I'm a bot, <laughs> yeah. Um, Barry, I know, I know a bit about you, actually quite a bit. I've attended some of your talks mm -hmm. at previous BSIG conferences. Yeah. Um, absolutely wonderful. Um, you are, I would say, an intercultural communications expert. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Yeah, I mean, the, the job, first of all. I'm, I'm a director of um, uh, cultural training at International House in London. Mm -hmm. um, and International House, as you know, is this very large um, international organization of uh, schools and cultural training centers around mm -hmm. the world. And what I do is I work outreach. I work into companies, and I'm basically concerned to help them improve their international communications. Mm -hmm. And as, I don't know whether you call it good luck or just luck would have it, a lot of my work right this minute is in Paris. Oh, I would call that good luck. Okay, well it's what I'm talking about uh, on this whole program, but it's a generalized phenomenon that we're finding the management world is changing quite dramatically mm -hmm. in that in the multinational companies we're now getting national managers not actually reporting to managers in their own country but to managers in, um, say, Delhi, or in Mexico City, or in New York, or whatever it happens to be. And the problem is they never meet these guys. Right. They have only conference call. Mm -hmm. Because of the cuts in travel budgets, people are not actually traveling to away days and meet and greets and things like that. And they're finding it really hard to deal with managers they don't know, who they never meet, in cultures they don't understand. That's where I come in. Okay. And then what sort of things do you do then? That's where you come in and what's what's you're doing? Obviously the key issue is communication. Yes. But they need to understand more than how to communicate. They they need to understand how to adapt their use of English and their use of phrases because the other thing I didn't mention is they're in an English medium environment. So mm -hmm. I can have French managers who if we speak if, if you and I were both French, we'd happily speak in French. But the moment a non-French speaker came into the conversation, we'd have to go into English. Right. Okay, so that's a problem as well. So how do you communicate? How do you communicate successfully in English? It's not enough. You've also got to understand the organizational features. You've also got to understand the leadership features. You've also got to understand how the manager gives feedback. You know, so as well as etiquette. Com company culture as well as it has it has it has National. a professional level, it has a regional level, and it has actually a uh, country level. Mm -hmm. So if I'm dealing with a manager in Delhi, I need to know whether that guy is multinational washed or has come from, if you like, a um, a, a huge SME, a small and medium-sized enterprise, okay. which could be eighty thousand employees. All right. um, but nevertheless, will possibly be more oriented towards Indian ways of doing business, which I need to get used to if he's going to be my future or she is going to be my future report. Do you see? Yes. It's, it's actually quite a dilemma for managers, and where we can help um, is understanding the business process sufficiently to ease them into that new situation. So when they do their conference calls, etc., it'll work. Okay, that's what we—that's what I blog about. All right. And yeah, speaking about your blog, um, we spoke earlier, and you mentioned something um, yeah. that you're looking for people. What we do is I have a, a, a website called www.culture-training.com, and what happens there, very simply, is every week I do two blogs: one for managers, one for trainers. Okay. And the whole idea is. What do managers need to know? What am I learning from my interactions with managers? What do trainers need to know to deliver that material? So we're putting ideas, techniques, problems out every week to help people understand better. Now, mm -hmm. obviously for me to do it is great, but it's great to have it from other people. Yeah. And I've had stuff on ranging from food in Korea to, to how to live in Spain. But you know, you, what you're looking for is interventions from people who have got something to say about helping people understand other cultures. And I'm very delighted to put it on there. OK. And, and you've got, um, you're on the British Council website as well. Yeah, we did and, a lot and, of stuff And you've got <clears throat> materials yeah, on there yeah, as well. Quite a lot. And, and what uh, website exactly is that? Well, that's the British Council uh, website, www.britishcouncil.org. But the most recent and most exciting thing we've done with the council is on the Olympics. Okay. Where we've put up a series of lesson plans for teachers to be able to work in training their students 
to understand the Olympics, whether they're going to be visiting London or watching on TV back home. Right. That's exciting. Yeah. And yeah. they're available there now. There now. And all of that content is free. All of that content is free. If you want to get it out there, you give it away. Yeah. You get it back in kind. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be the way it works. Yeah. And, and I'm getting that right now from you as yeah. well. So, and hopefully everyone else. I have to say, um, thanks so much for taking the time. And sh it's very useful. And can I say the website again? Yes. Okay. Please say the website again. There you go, guys. <laughs> www.culture-training.com. See you there. Thanks.